And we are expected to soon learn more about the fire at Highland High School. The Pocatello Chubbuck School District, along with representatives from the school board and the Pocatello Fire Department, will be holding a press conference this morning to provide updates about Friday's fires. Officials did not say what specifically they will be discussing. Friday's fire destroyed the D building, which housed the gym, cafeteria, and band and choir rooms. On Saturday, the Pocatello Fire Department shared a video showing their response to the fire and how crews worked to try to save some of Highland's history and memorabilia in the D building. Highland students also still held their prom Saturday night, which was moved to the Student Union Ballroom at Idaho State University. And the Ghost Canyon singers offered healing songs at Highland High School's prom in the aftermath of the school fire. They were invited by the school administration in an effort to heal and lift the spirits of the students attending prom night on Saturday. Saturday, we got our first look inside Highland High School the day after an early morning fire destroyed part of the school. This is video from the Pocatello Fire Department of firefighters going into the burned out portion of the school on Saturday. You can see firefighters taking pictures off the wall and trophies out of cabinets and then staging them for removal. Friday's fire destroyed the gym, cafeteria band and choir rooms and left smoke and water damage throughout the rest of the school. And then this week of this week will be virtual learning week and it will be started Starting tomorrow, the cause of the fire is still being investigated. And of course, with an event of this magnitude, members of the community want to band together and help. Some GoFundMe campaigns have already been set up, and the school districts would like everyone to know that there are avenues to donate that do not have associated fees or costs for donors. At this time, I think it's really important for people to understand we're working very closely with insurance. We have not identified any needs that would require any extra donations or fundraising needs, but we also understand that people want to feel like they're, they're able to do something. So in the event that people do want to contribute to, to, to help, um, should we identify any of those opportunities, they can donate. Highland has um, a foundation um, through their high school, so they can donate directly through that foundation. They can also um, donate directly through the School District Education 25 um, Foundation. Also, the Soda Mix in Pocatello announced all profits from sales this last weekend would be donated to Highland High School to help with rebuilding costs. And Delita Skating held a free skate night on Friday for all Highland students and staff. And KPVI News doesn't stop here for the latest local news and weather. Download the KPVI News app at our website at kpvi.com. Have a great day.